Through much prayer and seeking the Lord, Nehemiah unified the Israelites and had just led them to complete the wall surrounding Jerusalem in an amazing 52 days. In chapter 7, we find Nehemiah now beginning to tend to a few housekeeping needs. The doors and gates are now finished, making the city even more secure. And with this added security, the Israelites could now worship God with more freedom and without fear of being attacked. Nehemiah appointed and set in place gatekeepers, singers, and Levites to lead the people into worship. And he turned the governance of Jerusalem over to two brothers, Hanani and Hananiah. These men were chosen for their strong faith and reverence toward God. Often in the world, people are chosen as leaders for their talent or for their attractiveness. Not being a respecter of any man, God is not impressed with our skills or accomplishments. Instead, he's always looking for the one without a personal agenda, with a humble heart and a sincere desire to glorify him. Next, Nehemiah gave them specific instructions on when to open and close the city gates. He said they were not to open the gates until the sun was hot, meaning they should only be open during daylight hours. He also said they should always stand guard. The walls had been rebuilt. Despite much violent opposition, God had given them an amazing victory. Often in our Christian walk, when we gain a victory, we celebrate, we let our guard down, giving the enemy an opportunity to attack. Nehemiah realized that although the walls were in place and the city was secure, they still had to place watchmen on the walls and in front of their homes. As Christians, we have God's protection. He goes before us and He follows after us, but we still have a responsibility to be diligent and keep our heads up watching for potential ambushes. There is a reason Nehemiah allowed the gates to be open only during daylight hours. You see, it's in the light that we can more easily see approaching danger. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And the psalmist said in Psalm 119, verse 105, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Christians, our light source comes from seeking and standing in the presence of Jesus and from reading God's word. So be on guard, keep your head on a swivel, and stay in the light through faithfully seeking Jesus and diligently reading your Bible.